Hey everybody. This is my 40 gallon black ghost knife fish tank. And in addition to being home to my black ghost knife fish that we never see, I'm hoping it might make an appearance during this video. If you actually look in the very center of your screen at the very bottom of the tank, there's a cave. And that's where the black ghost knife fish is currently hiding. And I put some shrimp pellets in there. Maybe a little bit of that flavor will get out in the tank and maybe it'll come out to investigate. So who knows? Keep your eyes open. You might get a little glimpse of the black ghost knife fish while we're talking. This tank is also home to Flash, my parkour action snail. In fact, I would venture to say he's probably the world's only parkour action snail. But I do indeed have blue mystery snails in this tank. I'm not sure where most of them are. There's one of them on the back glass back there. I just saw him a few minutes ago. I don't know where he is. He probably, oh, nope, he's almost to the top now. He's kind of right behind the spray bar. Um, I don't think that's Flash. He's actually not moving fast enough to be Flash because Flash is crazy fast for a snail and jumps off of things and like I said I'm not kidding when I you know call him a parkour action snail so this evening when I was feeding the tank I lifted up the lid and I saw something that startled me I either have aliens that have invaded or Flash has been making friends here in the tank I've got these weird little kinda of hard to see on the camera but they're like little body snatcher globs of eggs. And you can see them on the glass kind of back there. I'm almost positive that that's how mystery snails do it. They lay their eggs above the water line and just keep them covered in um, like a mucus sack. And that's what keeps them moist. Here, let's try to move this out of the way and we can get a little better look. We can open the lid all the way up now. Oh, I didn't notice I've got a few of the small ones right here. So if I get out of the way a little bit, we can see them in the overhead light. You can definitely tell they are little clusters of eggs. It's having a hard time focusing on the low light like that. But you can definitely see they are little strange clusters of eggs. I've never seen them before and all of the times I've ever seen snail eggs they've just amounted to little piles of you know gooey looking stuff on the glass with some black dots all scattered through it almost tantamount to frog eggs but just scaled down so opening that lid and seeing those big old globs of whatever in there were kind of weird looking and there's a bunch of them so i don't know i just got these snails from one of my viewers not long ago he said that they bred in his tank and he had a bunch of them so i traded him some plants for some snails so who knows maybe here in the very near future in addition to the plants that i always have for sale because i do pretty much always have some kind of aquatic plants for sale it's either uh, java fern or the floating water sprite i usually have but i also occasionally have temple plant and you know some odds and ends but now it looks like i might be having some mystery snails so make sure you're subscribed you don't want to miss any of the exciting updates and you know maybe it's not mystery snails maybe i really do have body snatchers living in one of my fish tanks and you definitely don't want to miss that because that would certainly make for an exciting video so anyway make sure you're subscribed thanks for watching this one hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you real soon on the next one